Welcome to Simply Excel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to auto fit your column to the width of the data within it. In my example here, I've got a long string of text in cell B2, which you can see up here in the formula bar. Because I've got data in the next cell, in cell C2, most of my strings being hidden. To get around this, I'm going to auto fit column B to the length of the string so that I can see all the text. To do this, I simply move my mouse to between the columns B and C, and that's up in the grey header row, and then double click. You can see the columns jumped out to fit the length of the data in there. If I have multiple columns with long strings of data in them, so in this instance we've got three columns here which have the long string in them, we could either highlight all the columns individually, or click in the top left hand corner to highlight the whole sheet, and then move the mouse to between any of the column headers in the sheet, and double click. There's also a keyboard shortcut for doing this, we just need to click on the cell with the text in it and press Alt H O I and that's done exactly the same thing as double clicking between the column headers. And again we could use that same shortcut to make all our columns auto fit. So that's Alt H O I. You can also auto fit the row height to accommodate your data. For example if you have text that's wrapped onto multiple lines and again you can't see all the text because it's hidden by the subsequent cell. To auto fit the row height then, it's exactly the same methodology. We come up to between the row numbers until we get our black cross and double click. And as with the columns, we can do that for multiple rows at one time, either by selecting all the rows or selecting the whole sheet and double clicking between any two rows. And of course, you could also use the keyboard shortcut of Alt H O A to auto fit your row height. And as with the columns, that shortcut will work on multiple rows as well. So we can select our whole sheet and use Alt H O A. If you found these tips useful, please take a look at my video of 10 really useful shortcuts that will save you time when you're using Excel. And of course, please subscribe to my channel for more Excel tips. Thanks for watching.